Hey, this is Bruce, AKA The Frugal Tech. How are you? Always enjoy it when you like my videos and you especially appreciate your comments down below. Hey, I'm making this video today because recently Microsoft trademarked the name Windows 365. And that got me to thinking about all the implications that are there. Now, in all fairness, Microsoft's not announced anything really towards the licensing of Windows 10 and what's happening in the future. Just some hints here and there. However, as you know that they trademarked, uh, what was it, Office 365 in 2011, and today it's a rent not buy subscription model for most people on Office 365. It sort of makes sense that Microsoft is leaning in this direction, especially since they started making copies of Windows free for devices under nine inches in screen size. How do you monetize all that? Uh, what about all the people that are on versions of, you know, Windows 7? Now that's an operating system that's going out, what has been out for since October of 2009. They've, Microsoft's not made another nickel off of you since that point in time. Windows has to be monetized to keep the cash machine rolling in Redmond. Now Terry Myerson, he's head of the operating systems group at Microsoft. When he was talking about Windows as a service, he was especially uh, at the time, referring more towards the upgrade cycle, patches, uh, service packs, that sort of thing of Windows. And there might be some options there. Maybe this is an optional program. One of the things Microsoft alluded to, uh, to talking about Windows 10, is A, it'll be free for the first year for anybody that owns Windows 7 or Windows 10. However, after that, no one really knows for sure. They also mentioned that they would support Windows for the lifetime of the device. Perhaps Windows 365 would be a program that will Microsoft would support, support you on that device after that lifetime. But more than likely, I think it's Microsoft looking for a way to monetize Windows from people who haven't been paying for a long time. Uh, you know, if you have Windows 7 for the last six years, uh, Microsoft's made no money on that. And I think that's the avenue they're coming from. Let's basically make the operating system more or less free and then charge for updates and patches. It's possible we could even be seeing a versionless uh, Windows down the road. In other words, just Windows 365 from now on. No Windows 11, no Windows 12, just Windows 365. And so I ask you, would you be willing to pay $20, $30 a year, for example, in order to have the latest, greatest version of Windows available all time? Or would this prompt you to leave Windows and look at things such as Linux or Mac OS X? Anyhow, that's uh, what I want to talk to you about in this video. So please leave your comments down below. I always appreciate it. This is Bruce Naylor, a.k.a. The Frugal Deck. I'll talk to you later.